Hey y'all, um, wanted to do a quick flip through of the Erin Condren planners that I combined. So what I have is a monthly deluxe and then a life planner vertical. And I went in and uncoiled and ended up coiling the two of them back together. Um, originally, I was going to try to combine in a second deluxe monthly just so I could have some additional pages for something but the coils were not going to accommodate that so now I have a deluxe monthly that I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it and then this planner so if you're interested in seeing what they look like stick around um, let's get to it so standard cover nothing fancy um, this actually is a recollections bookmark. It came from a set that I bought my goddaughter. I moved the pocket to the front and then I just added a clear target spot pocket to it to hold extra information. This is the um, perpetual planner. I'll probably never use it to be honest. I just kind of put it there to break up all the black and white. So left the cover page the same have the 2017-2018 um, overview, have the don't call it a dream, call it a plan. This will be for recaps on what my month was, so it's not necessarily being used as a goal setting page. Um, I am using the monthly notes page, and then this page was added from the deluxe monthly planner. And then this page is from the Deluxe Monthly Planner. And then I have pages that were just added. This is the PBC Winter 2018 sale list. Then we get into the January Monthly. And then we get into the daily pages. So I'm using this more as a social media tracker. So I'm posting the pictures that I put on Instagram. And then my little to-do list that I have going into it. I did create a bookmark just to kind of mark where I am on my day. So, nothing else was added. Um, I thought about adding some extra pages, but to be honest, this life planner is so thick that it just won't accommodate a ton of extra note pages. I was able to add just a few to the very back um, I'm actually going to rewrite some notes that I had in the monthly planner because I don't like my handwriting. So this is going to be strictly social media tracking, YouTube channel, um, Instagram, those types of things. And then as a companion, I just have a little hardbound notebook that I'll be using to make any notes that I need regarding those or any collaborations that I may be involved with. Um, I've been working on making some inserts for a friend of mine, so those notes, those kind of things are in here. So, you can combine the two, use them for lots of things. I personally like having the weekly overview. Um, here, it just gives me an idea of what my main focus is for that week. So you can combine the two. I would get the monthly deluxe um, without the additional pages um, because the additional pages just won't fit in here. So I'm going to be recoiling all the additional note pages um, and just, I don't know, maybe make a notebook or something out of them. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with it. So just a quick flip of how I combine the two um, together and what it kind of looks like once it's been uncoiled and recoiled. So if you're interested in uncoiling and recoiling and combining any spiral planners, there is a video that I um, posted a couple of days ago. So take a look at that and I'll leave a link um, in the description. So until then, hope you guys have enjoyed the channel. If you'd like to see more videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Until then, remember we all got a plan and we all do it a little bit different. Have a great day.